Well, the early part of the pandemic was really tough on mom and pop shops, and few were hit harder than small bookstores. But the lockdowns also left people with a lot of time to read, and as Itai Had explains, that helped flip the script. For decades, local bookstores seem to be disappearing from our national landscape, but in the last couple of years, there has been an unexpected plot twist when it comes to America's love story with books. When Kevin Ryan got a part-time job at the iconic Green Apple Books in San Francisco, he thought it would be a temporary gig. That turned out to be only the first chapter in a surprising lifelong adventure. It's the kind of job where when I go away on vacation for a couple of weeks, I actually start to look forward to getting back to work. So this area here, that's where I would look. After working his way up to management, in 1997, he decided to turn the page and bought the place. I just love the part of it where I'm putting books in people's hands and talking to people about books. It's a really fine way to make a living. Over the years, he held his own against online retailers like Amazon and even outlasted giants like Borders Books. But then the pandemic hit and Kevin's income dried up overnight. He was able to hang on thanks to a PPP loan and online sales. But like most local bookstores around the country, his revenues dropped 30% in 2020, leaving many wondering whether bookstores were headed for extinction. But instead, something else happened. Customers started coming back in droves. One of the things the pandemic did to people is it made them value their local neighborhoods. Shelly Harrison is one of Kevin's regulars. She says there's just no substitute for in-person shopping. We love coming to these bookstores and talking to the people who are knowledgeable. We feel good and it's a place to go and hang out. According to the American Booksellers Association, 70% of neighborhood bookstores had sales that exceeded pre-COVID levels this year. Not only that, more than 450 new stores have opened since January 2020, four of them in San Francisco. People just want to be out in the world, especially after being locked up for a couple of years. And, and I, that's, I think that's a big part of, uh, of why stores are thriving. Kevin is now hoping his story has a happy ending, one that doesn't include chapter 11.